It might be. Is it a woman in the kitchen joke? Because I don't tolerate that. Well, Not on she, my stream. She's got the wedding dress on, so I think it's a shotgun wedding. She's got a bun in the oven. Okay. Excellent downer. I'm sorry, I won't be sarcastic. That was, that was also a lie. I will be sarcastic. But actually, I really... I think what a lot of Ganon players will struggle with, honestly, on the road to um, power... Which is the, the ultimate goal of any game, man. Yeah, well, yeah, try for power. Exactly. But what he does struggle with is because his hits have so much impact lag, the difference between L cancel timing on hit and on whiff is pretty substantial. Exactly. So like, he just missed an L cancel on stomp because he yeah. hit shield. And that one down air that he did that I made fun of, I actually would have missed that L cancel myself simply because he was right next to her, but he missed her. Yeah. And so I you, thought he was going to hit. Mm-hmm. That sort of thing happens all the time, and it's really annoying for this matchup because a lot of Peaches don't like fighting Ganon yeah. because of that. <laughs> Just a raw forward air at 100%. Yeah. Peaches are used to living for a long time. And yeah. Ganon's not used to edge guard. <laughs> he gets little two-hit combos that turn into 40%, and then he gets to tech chase with another thing, puts you off the edge. She's also really bad against his up air. So it's like... This is the kind of matchup where if you start missing L cancels, it suddenly stops being bad for Peach. Yeah. You know? Kind of like every matchup for every character. Oh my god, dude. We just threw her out of the level. All right. We got JFro doing some stylish movement yep. here. And Peach with another golf club. She's, uh, she's ready to play a different game. Yeah. Mario Golf. Cannon confirmed for Mario Tour. Ryu confirmed for Mario Golf. Shinky hole in one. Yeah, he doesn't actually have a, a club. He just like Hadoukens the ball. Just punches it. Oh, dude, that crouch cancel into block. That doesn't work that often. No, like it's it's really it's crazy to see like a top player who just like consistently can get the shield the second hit of uh, down smash. Yeah. I think the reason is most of the time people don't end up crouch canceling, they end up smash DIing it down. Yeah. I think that's what happens. Which is a, a very bad thing because then you yeah. miss attack and then you get hit four times. Yeah. And you're not allowed to actually see You don't get your shield, you slam into the ground, awful things happen. Yeah. Peach throws you away like so many bomb bombs. We got a what bomb. We've got a bomb. In the building. Zero drop, yep. I don't know if that was a great option, but I I, I just thought I would have yeah. done it there and he did it, so I disagree because so far we have this isn't Yeah. It, as long as he kills him, it's fine. Yeah. It's a kill. If he loses, it's bad. Like I I think it would have been more beneficial. It would have been more beneficial to uh to keep his stock and not do a thirty three percent. Especially considering every opening he's got so far has had nothing to do with him being at 33 and everything to do with that meaty platform down smash. Yeah. I, I feel like... Oh, interrupts the turn of Yeah, play. really good really good read on Peach escaping for that vegetable. It's a cute air dodge, actually. I think Peach needs to just manage her shield in this matchup. Because Ganondorf hitting on shield is really bad. But Ganondorf hitting two or three times on shield is really good because he's probably going to poke it. <laughs> He's off the level, and this should be a flow cancel aerial. Yep. He's still kind of high up, though. There? Most of the down tilt. That's I think not he wanted enough the, to kill the meteor. Oh, yeah, the stage spike. <laughs> All right. What's... Oh, there we go. He's back in it, and he's got his feet on the ground. He's off the stage again. Catches the double jump with his own yep. double jump there. Oh, the man. jab. Oh, rolls down. Oh, God. <laughs> he just wants, he wants to hit her. I think that's uh, it. Yeah, forward throw should take that. <laughs> And DI's away. He knew yeah. it was done. Well, it's like, if she starts pummeling you, then your best bet, honestly, is just to wiggle as hard as you can and hope she you mash out. Because yeah. you know you're not going to DI successfully at that percent. So, yeah. Now, Oven is on the right, correct? Oven. And JFro's on the left. To be racist, yes. <laughs> That's my guess. Well, it's, Stitch! It's, it's funny, because just by looking at them, I can tell who's the Ganon main and who's the Peach main. Is that weird? Sometimes you can just tell who someone mains by looking yeah. at them. Obviously, I main. Roy? 
No, Mario. You. You made Mario, right? Reuse the best. Oh. All right. There we go. Just keep hitting him. Oh, ambitious yep. as hell. You know, he wanted that game. If it worked, I would have been like, that was amazing. That was a great option. So I can't really criticize it yeah. that much. Oh, and that right there, when you're like, uh, when you're kind of in those defensive positions, and I'll, I classify getting hit as being on defense. Yeah. Because definitely. you are trying to DI to mitigate the damage. Um, it's really easy to get tech tangled up because you realize the situation is happening a little late so you start pressing stuff. Mm -hmm. So when he got bopped off that little platform and fell down and just jabbed the wrong way, it's clear he's trying to parse the situation and figure out something useful, but his hands are fully cooperating because he's not really ready. Yeah. That and stuff it, and happens a lot. It's definitely a Ganon thing to just try to mash jab to get out of something. Yeah, that's true too. Because it's only like, what, a three frame move and it's going to push him far enough yeah. away that he can do something else. He earned that one. <laughs> I would say that JFro outplayed yeah. Oven. JFro definitely successful. didn't run off the stage and kill himself. So, well, JFro is. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Yes, he did not. He did not, and Oven therefore did. he outplayed. That was a free wizard's foot, or anything else. I just want to see some more up Bs through these shields. Oh yeah, and yeah. that right there, that's one of the reasons Peaches dislike this matchup. She ends up above him at all. A bear generally wins everything for free. At worst, it trades. That's why people don't use Toad, by the way. Yeah. You have to commit ritual suicide in order to atone for using that move. <laughs> for using your subjects in such a crass manner. Oh wow, it what, looks like What a cruel thing, really. Dude, he switched players. This is not the same game. Yeah, this. He, J is looking really Oh my really god, good. in that Waveland. He needs to put his hands off himself and on the controller. And Oven. Oven. Oven is pretty much thrown away all three stocks of his own this game. Not that J Fro isn't doing work, but he has not, like, finished the stock. He hasn't had to. Yes, this is definitely a slightly different game. Lord above. Really good comeback there by JFro. Partially just by not SDing a button. Yeah. I always want to see Ganondorf edgeguard with Wizard Foot. Is that weird? Not no. The not the grounded one straight no. up, the, the spike. That is correct. You should want that. Especially if he gets I it where, where he lands on stage, but they're trying to sweet spot, so he doesn't go down, but they get spiked. That's the best. I've never actually gotten one that sexy. I do it in friendly sometimes. But oh, that's yep, it. good. Realized he had no jump and he just up bees instantly. Like high up bees are how you survive against Peach. Because once you can get her to start respecting that you're gonna go high, she has to start jumping early, and since she can't go up and down super fast, uh, yeah. And if she stays on the ground, she might not be able to cover it. Yeah. The whole range that you can. Move. Okay, there's a downside to if you double jump early as Ganon, which is they know they just have to block. They can yeah. block, they can roll, they can do anything. They don't have to worry about whether you're going to double jump and bait something, because you can't stop anymore. You don't need to do that, man. Stop you to the stage. Don't be fancy. He's going to get... Oh. Right. He tried to hit the turnip. I respect that. That... That had some spot. It's another word I was looking for. Oh, bats around the head. Bad girl. You don't pat the bad girl over the head, do you? I don't know. Oh, should have gone for another down air. I don't think I've ever called anyone bad girl. Bad girl? Yeah. Like to their face or just at all? Ever. <laughs> Up tilt. Interesting option. Yeah, that's a tough situation. Gandalf can't really can't really get out of shield before the down smash hits. You can try to buffer roll away or just hope that you don't get shield pose. It's actually a really important crouch cancel right there. I think if he'd gotten launched, he would have been very unhappy. Okay, so DI. You want to talk about it? Yeah, maybe maybe he just is always expecting to get back thrown. He wasn't giving up that first game. Yeah, it's fine. It was fine on that last one because he had to travel all the way across Dreamland. So. That's okay. And yeah, he had to watch out for back throw. Second the least, other ones, oh. just, just hold up. Yeah. All you want to do is assume she will forward throw, because the other throws are slower. Yeah, oh! Exactly. You DI for the forward throw, and then react if she does something different. 
You can do that with most characters. Yeah. Oh, oh hey. that was a really good tech chase. Dude, I keep seeing glimpses of the inner tyrant within J Fro. I don't mean the player, I just mean like Ganon as a tyrant. Yeah. His, his inner Ganon is coming out. Relentless, cruel, big swings. Obsessed with power. Look at that. Like, he starts this match being super tangled up. That's his first Tomahawk attempt. You Glad call it the Tomahawk? Yeah, the reverse up here? No, the um, empty jump into grab. Oh, that, that Tomahawk. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the edge guard he was doing. I guess it's kind of weapony. I don't know. Yeah. I I, I've never got why it was called a Tomahawk. Uh, I think, no, I think it has something to do with the, what the Tomahawk Indians would do. Native Americans. I bet that's it's never been to India. It's like a battle tactic. You, you just, like, jump in front of them and scare them, and then they don't, like, they don't know what to do, and then you hit them. That sounds plausible. It seems like a weird battle tactic if you think about it, when people are fighting with, like, guns. Turnips, beef or swords. Or just, like, axes. Explosives. I don't know. Right. I literally oh. have no idea why it's called that. I just know that it is. Also, everything has suddenly gone wrong for Yeah, Jfro is really... Oh, oh. turn up. Gives him a chance. That's the chance he needs. He's going to win now. I don't know why Oven Up is there. Up here, Nair. Funsies. He wanted to have Funsies. He wanted to have Funsies. Alright, go get him. Platform he heard me. Yeah. Hey. He made it work, too. Uh, yeah. Tried to bait with the double jump. Please, DI. Thank you. Boy, no. He hurt us. That's where, that right there is where you can actually kind of air dodge when it's clear the Peach is watching for your, uh, your MB. Yep. Okay. Wait, land on. Oh, Ooh, hit the grab. Oh, he wanted something. I think that was supposed to be an instant up air. He can live. This is Dreamland. Will land. Live. Oh. He is now dead. He very nearly lived. <laughs> I, I believe. <laughs>